Hello everyone, my name is Wendy. In this video, we will look at how to change the eye color in GIMP. I'll be using Windows and GIMP 2.10.22, which is the latest version of GIMP at the time this video was created. I downloaded this beautiful image from pixabay.com. If you'd like to follow along, I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's get started. You can use this technique for colouring human eyes and actually nearly anything. It's very easy to do, so once you learn this process, you can practice colourising on your own images. OK, the first thing to do is to open a new image. So come up to the File menu, select Open, navigate to where you've saved the image, and click Open. If you look over at the Layers panel, you'll see the new image has been opened. I expanded the Layers panel earlier and adjusted the preview size. Now I'm going to zoom in, I need a close up of the cat's eyes. To do this, hold the control key on the keyboard and roll your middle mouse button. Also to pan the image up and down and side to side, I'll hold the middle mouse button down and move the mouse. Now let's have a wee look at the cat's eyes. Usually animals have a bit of fur around their eyes and we might need to clean it up. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to remove this long hair and let's see the other eye. The other eye is not too bad. OK, come over here and we're going to remove this here. First, let's start by creating a copy of the image. Come down to the menu below the Layers panel and click on the Create a Duplicate Layer. Now with that layer selected, double click on the title and change the name. I'll just type in Green Eyes, then hit Enter on the keyboard. Come up to the toolbox now, we're going to select the Healing tool. It is in the sub-menu of the Clone tool. Drop down to the Settings. I'll be using a soft brush, a number 2, with a hardness of 0.25 to start off with. If you look over at the brushes dialog on the right hand side, you'll be able to see the brush icon. You'll have to try different brush sizes. I'm going to start with a small brush like 25 or 15. Maybe bring it down a little. Place the mouse pointer near the here and hold the control key down and click on the blue part of the eye. This will take a sample. Next, release the control key and click on the area you want to cover. I'll adjust the hardness to about 45 or 50. Come over to the settings dialog and I'll bring the hardness up. OK, let's carry on. We'll also control click samples from the fur and around the pupil. It doesn't have to be perfect. In the pupil, there is a reflection of what the cat could see at the time the photo was taken. So we want to preserve this as much as possible. I'll also do this little bit down here. We're just doing a light touch up, as once we add the colour, it's not going to be that noticeable. OK, I'm happy with that now. I'll come over to the settings panel now and bring the hardness back to 25. Come up to the toolbox and select the move tool to disactivate the healing tool. Now we're going to draw a path around the eye. So select the path tool, make sure you're in the design mode, and come over to the eye. The eye shape is very curved, so we don't need to make it complicated at all. I will only place four or five points to start out with without any dragging and later we'll add some more points to pull out the curves. Click once, just right in the centre of the top curve. Then halfway around, click again. This will create a segment. Follow where I place them. When you get back to the first point, hold the control key down and click on the top to close the path. Now let's start to pull out the curves. Hold the control key down and click right in the centre of one of these segments. This will create a new point. Make sure the mouse pointer is on the point and just pull it over to the side. We won't be using the Vizier handles. Let's create another point here. Control click and pull this one over to the side. And here. Might make another point in here and just pull this one out and around. When you create a new point, there's a small plus icon that appears. If I'm not happy with the way the curve's coming along, I'll delete the point. To do this, I'll hold the control and shift key down and then click on the point. And then create another point a bit further along. I'm not too keen on the first curve right up here at the top. I'm going to hold the control and shift key down and then click on the point to delete it. I'll create a new point and then drag this out. Sometimes, like in this case, it's much easier to start with less points and add more as you go. These curves are looking really good now. 
Now when you're happy with the curves, come over to the settings panel and click on Select from Path. Now you'll see the selection is displayed by moving dots. These moving dots are called moving ants. Now everything inside the selection will be edited. Come over to the Paths tab and we'll open the Paths dialog. You'll find a copy of the path we just created. Come up again and click on the Layers tab. And we're going to create a new layer to paint the eye on. Click on the first button below the panel to create a new layer. Now here in the settings, change the name. I'll just type in Color Green. Keep all the default settings and in Fill With, make sure it's set to Transparency. Then click OK. Now come out to the toolbox and click on the Move tool. This will disactivate the Path tool and we'll be left with the selection. Now come out to the Select menu and select Feather. This tool will feather the edges of the selection area and create a smooth transition between the selection and its surroundings. In the dialog, I'll leave the settings at 5 and hit OK. Now we can start to paint the eye. Select the paintbrush. We'll use the same small soft brush as before. Next open the foreground colour selector. I'll use this green colour that I had tried out before. If you'd like to follow along, just copy the HTML notations for 94C045, then hit OK. Now here in the settings, I'll keep the hardness to about 25. And the brush size, I'll change about 15 or 20. I'll keep adjusting it as I need. Now when we start to paint, we'll get a flat green colour. So hit Ctrl Z to undo this. This is not what we want. Come over to the Layers panel and in Mode, scroll down the menu and right at the very end, select LCH Colour. LCH stands for Lightness, Chroma and Hue. Come back over to the selected area and start painting. You can see there is a great difference. This is a very powerful tool. I'll change the brush size. Try to paint everywhere except in the pupil. Go right to the edges, right over. I will clean up the pupil and the white spots in a minute. But first I want to check to see if I've missed any areas. To do this, click on the small eye icons for both the cat images. I could touch up a little in the middle here. When you're finished, click on the small eye icons of the images to make them visible again. Now let's clean up the pupil. To do this, come over to the toolbox and select the Erase tool. Change the size so it's small enough to erase the coloured area inside the pupil. I'll also do the white reflection. However, I think I'll just add some white paint and that would work better. If you erase too much, just hit the Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo it and then redo it. I want to preserve all the reflection that's in the cat's eye. OK, we'll just clean this up a wee bit more and when you're happy with it, come over again to the Layers panel and we'll do the same as before, disactivate the images. That's looking good, OK. I think that's all right there. Let's turn the images back on. Now we can create a new layer to paint the white reflection lights in the eye. However, before we do this, we have to deselect the selected area. Come up to the Select menu and select None. Now everything is deselected. However, the path is still there. You can reuse this to redo the eye again later if you need to. OK, let's carry on. Drop down below the panel and click on the Create a New Layer button. In the dialog, I'll just change the name, I'll type in White, and in Fill With, I'll keep Transparency, then click OK. This time in Mode, we'll just keep it at Normal. I'll zoom in more, I'll just hold the Control key and roll the middle mouse button. OK, let's go over to the Color Selector. I'll just click on the small arrow to swap the foreground and background colors. If you can't see White in the Color Selector, just copy the HTML notations, then click OK. Now let's select the paintbrush tool. We'll use the same small brush as before in painting some very small white reflections. Make sure you're on the right layer. And now let's start painting. You don't have to be too precise. I'm just trying to cover up these small blue pixels that I can see. I'm happy with that now. We've really conserved the reflection that was in the cat's pupil and in his eyeball. When you're finished, come up to the toolbox and select the Move tool 
That would disactivate the paintbrush. I'm just going to zoom out. Now let's have a good look at the eye. It still has that sharp crystal look to it and the reflection is great. I might lower the opacity a little. So come over to the layers panel and select the color green layer. And I'll lower the opacity to 85, something like that. I'm happy with that. I'll let you practice what you've just learned to do the other eye. Before we wrap up, let's merge the layers in the correct order to export the image. First select the green eyes layer. It should be above the cat's image. Then click on the merge button, which is in the lower menu. Now that these two layers have been merged together, select the white layer above. Then come down and click on the merge button. Now you can export your image. We'll wrap up here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.